Welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure, where we are on Makaba, on our way to the region around Amorica Village. We managed to disembark well enough. But look at what's happened to the Lotus Fields. Yeah, there's nothing but Roma grass now, as far as I can see. This must be the byproduct of Kia's awakening. Zeit, are there any cryptids nearby? I do not sense any for the moment. We should be able to use this warp circle without fear of them attacking. Good to know. Now that we're here, let's start by visiting Chief Tolta. A wise decision. I see. You've been through quite a whirlwind these past few weeks. I have to say, you really gave me a scare walking in here with that wolf of yours. Sorry about that. My apologies, it was not my intention to frighten you. That's alright. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd have the honor of meeting with the divine wolf of legend in person. Thankfully, the defense forces largely ignored our village. You'll be safe here. Feel free to stay as long as you need to. We appreciated that, Chief Toltam. Second, that thank you for your hospitality. There were many people back at the hospital who were critical of President Croix's actions. What I can tell you isn't exactly received the warmest reception here either, has he? Well, our village has always had a tenuous connection to the state's more bureaucratic matters. Even after independence was declared, I can't say it stoked much of a response from us. More we say that our harvests have been down thanks to the appearance of those cryptids. And as I mentioned, the defense was seldom ventures here, so you can expect they haven't been of much help to us. I'm sorry to hear that. The negligence is shameful. Those who dwell in the city have always been ignorant of their fellow men in these outlying settlements. However, the degree to which they have taken their dereliction is inexcusable. Indeed. If I may be frank, I have a hard time seeing myself falling in line with the President's ambitions. That said, the opinions of our little village is nothing compared to the masses in the city. To tell you the truth, we are rather lost in the weeds about all of this. That's understandable. They keep an eye out for any cryptids over here. Aside from that, have you had any other pressing issues lately? I would hope the situation hasn't stirred up any civil unrest among the villagers. Not at all, thankfully things haven't come to that. The villagers pulled together to see itself with this crisis as best as we can. Having Harold and his family here to help us has been a real goddess sent too. You mean Mr. Hayworth? I do recall him mentioning that his family would be coming here to visit. That's right, they arrived just before the barrier went up. Travel restrictions were put in place on the highway soon after, so they've been lodging here ever since. That makes sense. They were staying on the second floor of the Ash Tree Inn. You're welcome to pay them a visit if you'd like. We'll be sure to do that. It's been a while. Let's go check up on them. Frankly, I don't believe President Kreuz can be trusted. That said, the opinion of our little village is nothing compared to the mass of a city. The Hayworths at least have been more than willing to lend us a hand. Times are tough, so we have little choice but to come together, city folk and Americans alike.
It still baffles me that Arius has become the state secretary of defense. The brave have always helped our village, but we've heard the heart from any of them since Crossbell's independence was declared. It's worrisome to say the least. I wonder how they're holding up right now. The eerie blue grass started blooming in the lotus fields a few weeks ago. It seems to be affecting the growth of the flowers, so I'd really like to weed it all out. But no matter how many times we pull it up from the ground, it just grows right back. A cryptid laid race to our fields along the highway. Between the travel restriction and the meager harvest, business is looking pretty dire for us. Thank the goddess America still has enough to be self-sufficient. Mrs. Hayworth is quite a culinarian, you know. She told me that she even holds cooking classes at her home back in the city. I wouldn't mind attending myself one day uh, when all of this mess dies down it is. My son is of the same age as our kids too. We became such fast friends. Mr. Avery brought his kid with him a few weeks ago. I kind of like I have a little brother now too. <laughs> I gotta watch his back since I'm the older one. Mr. Hayworth told us that his family is going to be staying at the Ash Tree Inn for a while. Just like when me and mom moved here. Everyone from America is really nice and welcoming. All Camille can talk about anymore is Colin. It's not fair. Camille is my brother, not his. Harold said he'd negotiate with a defense force to get more supplies. We're self-sufficient when it comes to food, but the villagers need a good deal of medicine. Now if only Jake could pick up those negotiation skills too. On second thought, I shouldn't force it. I don't want to push him too hard now that he's finally shown some progress. I saw Mr. Harold negotiating with a defense force the other day. It reminded me of how much I still have to learn. If I'm going to be running the store, I need to be able to do things the way he does. Maybe hit him up for some advice while he's in the village. Every day my brother Elkin moans and groans about how he can't drive his truck. The situation is depressing enough without him standing out complaining all the time. Geez, he really ought to be grateful we have a source of fresh food to see us through this mess. Thanks to the traffic restrictions on the highway, almost no cars and buses come here anymore. Sure, Defense Force armored cars can pass by are cool, but I'm getting tired of seeing them. I'd be on the road right now myself if Van from was cryptids. Just how long are these driveless days gonna drag on? Ah, Colin is too cute. Those big puppy dog eyes and adorable smile are too much. I bet he's going to grow up to be so handsome, just like his father. Those defense force guys skeeve me out. They've got this high and mighty, you need us vibe whenever they come around the village. Was changing from the CGF to the CDF really that big a deal? The Harriers are staying in the large room on the second floor. Not to say you're expecting any other visitors given the state crossbills in. It's a rough spot for all of us. Harold has been helping out the village a lot, so the least I can do is offer him and his family a place to stay. Those poor Haybuffs, no doubt this isn't the vacation they were looking forward to. I'm glad to have Harold around, but I feel terrible that his family still hasn't been able to go home yet. 
With those scriptures around the highway locked down, I can't get any farming done. Wouldn't be so bad if I had a book to read. But I don't expect the defense would allow me into the city just for a library visit. My life is feeling as empty as a blank page these days. Imagine if it went on for years. Going back long without a book would be my own personal Gehenna. Given everything that's happened, I'm starting to get worried about my old neighbors in Crossbell. My neighbors must be worried about the city too, and yet, they're still helping out in whatever way they can. I should follow their lead and start doing the same myself. <gasps> wow, look at the big doggy! Well, what a surprise! Is that you, Lloyd? Thank goodness you're alright. It's good to see you, Mr. Hayworth. Big doggy? With a child be referring to me? I consider it an apt description. <laughs> Who says that that vine wolf can't double as a cutesy wootsy puppy dog? I can't tell you how concerned I was when I first heard you were arrested, Lloyd. I meant to find out that you had become a fugitive on top of it. It's no small relief to know that you're safe. <laughs> Sorry for worrying you. Is it just the three of you right now? There be other SSS members. We were separated due to unfortunate circumstances. As of yet, we have no leads on the locations of the rest of our team. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. From what I heard, the three of you were here at the time the barrier went up around the city. That we were. We didn't have the slightest clue what was happening that day. Strict travel restriction has been in place ever since. We've been unable to return to the city. I don't know what we would have done if not for the hospitality of our villagers. The innkeeper has been gracious enough to let us stay here until the restrictions are lifted. And the children of the village have been very friendly to call in as well. Yeah, me, Camille and Polly play together a whole lot. You should come hang out with us next time too, Mr. Doggy. I shall consider it. I'd appreciate that. In any case, I've been doing whatever I can to repay the village for its kindness. My area of expertise isn't good for much of a moment apart from negotiating with the CDF and their visits on patrol. No need to sell yourself short. That task is as important as any given the situation. The villagers are likely much better off with a skilled trader being their point of contact. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I just remembered. I heard something from a defense force that might interest you. What might that be? They say an unidentified rebel group has been active in the area. Apparently, several defense force units have already been attacked. They have? Really? All things considered, I'm surprised anyone has a stone to do that. It would be preferable if we knew who they were, but this is welcome information all the same. Agreed. We should look into this. Mr. Hayworth, do you have any idea where these rebels were last sighted? I was told their base of operations centered upon the ancient battlefield, right off of Old America Road. The CDF has been regularly patrolling the area, but they have yet to discover any other leads. The ancient battlefield of Momorica, the locus of immeasurable bloodshed, as well as the cult's former stronghold. The ruins there hold numerous hidden passages. They would make an ideal hideout for a band of insurgents. Wandering in there may be dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we leave the village. Bye bye for now, Mr. Doggy. I hope we can play together next time. I will permit it if time allows.
Since joining your division, I've found that small children are drawn to me increasingly often. I should have read the fine print. This comes with the territory of being a police dog. Chief Tolta was the one who had invited my family to stay in the village to begin with. The offer was extended to both myself and Pete for our parts in solving the fraud case, though it would seem that he declined. Oh, so that is thanks for solving that whole Minif ordeal. Well, on the bright side, at least Pete wasn't stranded here too. Yes, I feel the same way. It's concerning that the rest of the SSS is unaccounted for. I pray you're able to reunite with them soon. Why, thank you, ma'am. After all we've been through, nothing will stop us from bringing the team back together. So, off to the ancient battlefield then? Yeah, we may not know who these rebels are, but I think it's something worth finding out. They may be willing to work together with us. I agree, we have little to lose in seeking them out. Then we should make haste at once. If our script is around the highway locked down, I can't get any farming done. Wouldn't be better if I had a book to read? Hmm, just the same thing. Okay, I, for a moment I thought it was changed. I miss my car. Summon Zeit is currently unavailable. Grotesque creature that uses powerful mirage arts. Its venomous fangs weaken foes. The Vaizu. Ow. Where's that download work? Terminant monster on Old America Road and the Onyx Gem. Action? No, uh, this is a say. Impede. Listo. 
Now, can we go further south? Coastal Highway. A savage, savage horn, a savage water buffalo monster. Once it begins its charge, it's nearly unstoppable. Do you hear that? That sounds like armored cars on the move. Bad news. Lay low and don't let them spot you. Okay, we're all clear for now. They appear to be making their patrols rounds. With that in mind, traversing this highway without a set destination might not be the safest course of action. You're right, we'd be better off going back to what Older Morica wrote. So we can't go. Okay. But we tried. Ancient Battlefield. There's Pleroma grass growing all the way out here too. Not really surprising considering this is where the cult decided to set up shop. According to what Mr. Hayworth told us, the defense force has been ambushed yet multitude of times. Oh, I'm detecting lingering sense in there, though their thoughts have concealed themselves. I cannot identify them exactly, but I can assure you they are not to be trifled with. Duly noted. Keep your guard up, there's still the threat of cryptids appearing. A trap and we walked right into it. Red constellation. The red constellation. These must be the ones who sent I caught wind of. And here we are feeling all down ourselves for coming up empty handed. Good thing some fresh new game just landed square into our laps. Commander Randall's buddies, huh? The president of the defense force will always big time if we bring them in. Six and four military monsters. Look alive, man. Praise its most dangerous and cornered. We take this nice and slow. Make sure to neutralize them one by one. Think you can last standing toe to toe against the Red Constellation? But I show us what you got, SSS. 
With pleasure. Do whatever it takes to break the lines. Oh, it's because oh. That was mean. Red consolation with machine gun, better and Jäger skilled with heavy firearms, capable of a variety of combat techniques. Better and Jäger that hunts foes down without mercy, uses a formidable sword stance specific to Jägers. Right, I want something. Come on, Bazi. Huh. You're pretty good. My defense force doesn't even begin to compare to these boots. You don't become the baddest Jaegers you want by playing soldier. They storm battlefields across the whole damn continent and make them our own. Pickles against those Oboros champs in a genuine fight and they fall apart. Hell, that wolf of yours could turn into whatever monster he wants even. We just hunt them down like any other beast. What do you know? So we know about Sight's true form too. Maybe it would have been wise to contact Abbas before coming here? You ain't getting out of here no matter what you do. No chance in Guyana. We can keep putting you through a ringer, or you can just give up now. No chance, you say? I expected you hoodlums to know your surroundings better than this. Sauri! Sauri? I thought you booked it out of here ages ago! Correct, you merely failed to apprehend us. Spineless bastard! Don't back down, man! You have them outnumbered and out! Uh. Yin. So you're still in crossbow after all. So 
if bringing so few Jaegers is your idea of a joke, your sense of humor is sorely lacking. You do well not to underestimate Heiyue. Son of a... What's our move? Out of consideration for our guests, we'll do the courteous thing and allow you to leave this time. However, when next you return, I recommend bringing a more sizable force. Be certain to bring the Scarlet Ogre or Bloody Shirley along with you. The festivity simply wouldn't be complete without them. I'll pass that along. You will regret us once we have your hats on a pike. Open the gate! Withdraw! Ooh. Over at last. That was a little too close for comfort. Always happy to be of service. We meet again, Detective Bannings and friends. It's been far too long. Sao and... Risha. So that's where you went. You've been with them the whole time. Yes. This area is too exposed. We should take this conversation elsewhere. But of course... Considering the nature of this long-awaited reunion, why don't we head to a venue with a more pleasant view? Underground. <laughs> or at least they are going. Interesting. So this is where you've been hiding around since the raid. Correct, the cult's old lodge made for a convenient refuge, ironically enough. We were even able to observe our boss taking with a giant bell as a result. And Professor Nomatos was here as well? The same bell that hung in central square was used in the ritual to complete the Septarian of Zero. There's no doubt in my mind that it was an artifact this entire time. It would seem they returned it to the city once we were done here. We of Heiyue have been the only ones occupying this area ever since. Master Yin being the exception, of course. Risha? Please, Lloyd, I know this is a lot to ask, but... Could you find it in yourself to overlook what I've done? The crimes I've committed in this land? I cannot allow myself to be captured, but I intend to at least return to Calvert and spare you any further trouble. After I settle the score, that is... You mean... You're seeking revenge. Those monsters stole something more precious than any other. An irreplaceable star. The sun that gave everyone hope. I cannot forgive it. I cannot forget. Which is why she so gracefully re-entered into a contract with us. We'll be working side by side to oppose the reconciliation, as we should be. Stay out of this. Listen to me, Risha. Are you aware that Ilya has awakened from a coma? Is that true? Yes, she regained consciousness immediately after the phenomenon of the President's Inauguration Day. While she has yet to fully recover, she is nevertheless awake and alert, as lively as she ever was. Oh, eight years above. Thank you. Thank you for granting her your mercy. Well, isn't that splendid? 
But you let out an important detail. I'm told she's paralyzed from waist down, may never walk again, much less perform on stage. Sao? You knew him this entire time, didn't you? But of course I did. However, Master Yin explicitly requested to remain ignorant as to Miss Platier's condition. So naturally, I complied. Please, Master Zhao, hold your tongue. Don't misunderstand us, Master Yin. Master Zhao withheld this information to spare your heart the turmoil. Save your excuses. I've already made up my mind. Once I've settled this, I will leave Crossbell and never return. Excellent. Hey, you look forward to your continued cooperation. You all should consider pitching in as well as this. Well, our goals may differ, we share a common foe. It would be to the welfare of us both to join forces in these trying times, wouldn't you agree? I think I can actually. On one condition. Risha comes with us. Lloyd? Is that right? Risha, I have a message for you from Ilya. What is it that matters most to you? Can you truly turn your back in the face of what you hold dear? Despite what she's been through, Ilya refuses to let any of it get her down. At first I thought she was only putting on a brave face, but the truth quickly became clear to me. Ilya Platea will dance again. She believes so with all her heart. It'll be an uphill battle the whole way, but she's already prepared to make the climb. She has total faith in herself. That kind of drive is difficult to attain, to put it bluntly. But all the same, her determination was infectious. Ilya decided what she wants, and she's doing everything she can to get back on the stage. So, Risha, what matters most to you? Revenge against the Red Constellation? The legacy of Yin that you inherited? Or could it be... I... I know what you want to say, but I... I just... Can't! All my life, I've walked a blood-stained path bathed in shadows. These stains... I'll never be rid of them. That's beside the point, Risha. All I want to hear is what it is that matters most to you. What do you hold nearest and dearest to your heart? What is the single thing above all others that drives you to live? It's... it's Arconciel! I want to dance on that stage again. With Ilya, with Sally, with everyone else. That's all I want. I thought so. Master Zhao. <laughs> Exceptional as always, Detective Bennings. You've certainly made a mess of my plans, haven't you? However, perhaps it would be more apt to say that Miss Platea won the day? I admit my defeat. Congratulations on your victory and well done. So, I can't say I'm very sorry about it. 
and you shouldn't be. Truth be told, I'm absolutely fuming. But for the sake of our collaboration, I swallow my pride and let it go. Masian, rather, Vishamao. Consider your current contract with Heyu null and void. I leave you to your discretion. Thank you, Sao. You'd do well to remember that I've only given up this one time. I, as well as Heyu, have greater aspiration, and your strength factors into that. In the meantime, do take care. I wish you the best in returning to the stage you hold so dear. Right. I will not falter. That was some of your finest work yet, Lloyd. Full of surprises, isn't he? A silver tongue like his is worth its weight in gold. It's abundantly clear why the Divine Child is so attached to you. Easy, guys, I was only the messenger this time. I'm just glad I could fulfill Ilya's request. One question, Detective Fannings. Just where do you suppose I should direct this frustration of mine? Come again? Why don't I lay it out this way? Since you prevented Risha from working with us, it would only be fair that you join us in her stead. With a little train, you'd be quite the asset on our front lines. What? Sao, are you serious? Hmm. Master Sao makes a fair point. The Tonfa expertise would be greatly enhanced if you cultivate a mastery of all martial arts. Uh, that, that's flattering, but I couldn't. I thought you'd have gotten used to being headhunted by now. Well, we added, why not consider joining the grounds with that? Perks include more quality time with yours truly. That had been a, have been a joke, Vazi. And so Lloyd and the SS formed a temporary alliance with Heiwei. Each group promised to aid each other in the event of an emergency as well as share information on any breaking developments. At last, Yin, the Wisha Mao, made her decision. In order to pursue her life's newfound purpose, she would join forces with the special support section. New blind spot detected. We're laying the data now, Fran. Hut! Click, click, click. Found it! It's a northwestern crossbell. Halfway up Mines Mountain Path, to be exact. It's near Mines, that broadens the scope of our operations quite a bit. Though I'm sure the enemy is starting to catch on to us by now. If I'm not mistaken, there's been a resistance group separate from Heyu operating in the Mines area. Supposedly, the one in charge is an ex-CGF guardsman who opposed the establishment of a defense force. Wait, really? We simply assume that all of the guardsmen were eliminated in the CDF. Their motivations were defecting are understandable. The Red Constellation is being allowed to roam free despite having thoroughly decimated the Guardian force. Those who could see through the treachery would not stand for it. Then, maybe now he's with them? Sorry, but I seriously doubt it. We saw the choice Noel made. She was prepared to protect Crossbell no matter the cost. I don't think she would waver from that decision so easily. <laughs> You're probably right. No, he's always been as strong as a horse and stubborn as one to boot. Friend. Back to the matter at hand. I think making contact with his resistance would be for the best. Their cooperation could be just as valuable as Heiwis. 
Agreed. We should touch down as soon as we can. But before that, Risha, do you want us to stop by St. Ursula? Ilya really wanted to see you. I know it's still complicated, but we can always visit her together if you want. No, I'm going to have to decline. I'm still not ready to stand in front of Ilya with my head held high. At the very least, I want to wait until after we've taken back Cross the City and Archon Ciel first. Alright. That is disappointing to hear, but we understand how you feel. I'm sorry, truly. If you have urgent business to take care of at St. Ursula, I do not mind this embarking with you. But unfortunately, I will not be going any further than the front gate of a hospital. As long as you are okay with it. It's a shame, but at least this proves that Rishia is not the cold-blooded killer she thinks she has to be. Rishia has joined the party! Rishia and Lloyd learn Twin Dragon Strike! As a combination. Okay. Good, but I think next time we do another exploration of the old areas before after that then in the episode following that go in the direction of mines and everything good yeah until next time i'm mace and don't get lost <laughs>